Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome back to my channel world of illustration today in this tutorial i'll teach you how to use perspective grid tool in adobe illustrator if it's your first time on my channel and you're interested in adobe illustrator tutorials then please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon also so here we go from tools panel you can go over here and here you can see perspective grid tool when you select this you can see a grid if you want to hide this grid so go to view perspective grid and here you can see hide option and you can also hide this grid by pressing on shift ctrl and i now again we will just open this grid press shift ctrl i and it's just hide let's just start making our object make a rectangle like this again make the second rectangle over here and fill its color like this now align your both objects and then adjust it now press ctrl plus for zoom in place this rectangle over here now just make it copy with alt key and ctrl d make a group with ctrl g and now align it with this object align it to the center after align your object just select your group object and press alt and shift key for copy and now ctrl d for duplicate now just ungroup your last group and delete this object like this after making your windows of your building now let's start making the door Again, make a rectangle like this. Align it to the center. Just check it out that it's totally aligned or not. Align it to the bottom. Now let's color it with black color. After this, just select all and press Ctrl G for group. Now create a copy with Alt key. And now just change its color like this. Select them both and drag it to this side of the artboard. After this, let's start making street like this. Color it with this color and now just start making rectangle again over here like this. Fill it with white color. Just align it to the center and make it copy with Alt key and Shift key. After this, press Ctrl D for duplicate. Here I will just adjust this rectangle like this and again I will select them all, make a group with Ctrl G and now align it to the center of this object. Here we go. Again make a copy with Alt key like this and now I will just drag this over here. Let's select them all and drag it with Alt and Shift key and put it over here. Now open your grid, go to perspective selection tool, click over here and drag your object like this. After this go to right side and uh, now select your object and drag it over here. After this uh, just adjust your both objects like this. Drag it and again drag it. Adjust your both objects like this. Adjust it according to the grid. After some adjustment here I will just drag my second object like this. After doing some adjustments, we will just make a rectangle inside the door like this. Go to rectangle tool and start making a rectangle over here like this and fill its color with blue color. After this, again repeat the same steps with the right grid. Go to perspective and select right grid. 
make a rectangle over here and fill its color with blue after this go to horizontal grid and uh, drag your object over here like this and adjust it according to your grid just do some adjustments according to your object like this after this select your second object drag it over here and just now start adjusting it according to the grid adjust both sides of the object accordingly after this we will start making the top of our building just make a rectangle over here like this according to the grid and fill its color with black color do the same with the right grid fill its color also after this close your grid and here is your object select your object and make a group with ctrl g create a copy with alt and shift key now drag it adjust it click over here go to arrange send to back do the same steps with the other objects drag it adjust it arrange and send to back again do the copy of this object with alt and shift key and do the same steps when we are done with our front object start making the behind objects like this arrange and adjust it after this just adjust it a little bit more after this adjust it according to the artboard select them all control g for group now adjust align it to the center of the artboard like this now we will create the background make a rectangle over here like this adjust it to the artboard and add it fill color just adjust the color now we will just add some gradient like this add more colors after this adjust the gradient color like this and send it to back here it is now we will again make a rectangle over here and add green color over here like this change its color also adjust the color after this send it to back like this and here you can adjust this rectangle also according to the artboard after this go to window and open the symbol panel after this go to nature and here you can see the symbols we will add this one drag your symbol to the artboard like this we will also add some clouds over here like this drag it to the artboard again start adjusting it like this after some adjustments open the nature panel and add some grass over here we will add this one like this and make it copy with alt key like this and now just adjust our trees over here after this we are done with our illustration here it is by the way you can also make it more beautiful by adding some new colors like this i hope that you guys like it and you will also try it as always guys please feel free to leave any question or comments down below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and i'll see you in the next video bye bye